Evening all, Rich here, back for part 4 and the final part of this Wilhelm Gustloff tutorial. Uh, today's focus will be all the finishing details like the cranes, masts, propellers, rudder, lifeboats and all the other things uh, that make up the ship. Um, it's all small details, so what we're going to do first, we're going to focus on this area on the front of the ship, this focusal area. Um, so it's going to be cranes and a few cargo hatches and things. So we're going to go to the centre block first. Actually, we're going to add the cranes first, so if we go from the stairs go from the uh, either side of the stairs. Stair, stairs going down like that and you've got the banisters either side. If we go to the outside banisters, basically the banister closest to the side of the ship. Go from that, from the bottom and go six blocks out. So on the, on the floor go one, two, three, four, five, six and then one back like that. And that's where we're going to put our ma uh, crane. So the crane is basically straight up. So it's going to be up six, so that's one already. Two, three, four, five, six and then forward eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. And then put a block underneath for support. And that's pretty much it. That is the crane. And you can also put a base around the bottom if you want. Like that. And that's one crane done like that. Um yeah, nothing special. So do the same on the other side. So from the bottom of the uh banisters go out one, two, three, four, five, six, and go up one, two, three, four, five, six. Forward eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus a block underneath, like that, and then a base around the bottom. Like so, and there we go, there's our two cranes. Like that, and they're the most basic and ugly looking cranes going, but that's the way it is. Alright, now we're going to go back down to the front of the superstructure, down to that centre block. And on the wood, we're going to count forward to the fourth block forward. So, one, two, three, four. And we're going to build a cargo hatch which is five wide. So one in the centre there and then two either side. And then the sides are four. One, two, three, four forward. One, two, three, four. And then across the front. And then just cover it in grey like so. And there you go. There's your cargo hatch like that. Nothing special but, you know. And then after that we're going to add a vent which is going to be an awkward shape. So if we go from the front of the cargo hatch and count to the sixth block forward. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Put our centre block, and then you're going to build five wide. So that's two either side again. And then the sides are forward three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then across the front. And the front wall you're going to build to three high. So three high, like that. And then the wall behind it, build that to three high as well. One block behind it, build it to three high, like so. And then the next block along, build it to one high, or two high, like that. So basically it slopes down in a stair, so it goes up one high, two high, three high, three high, like that. And then just copy them, uh, build the line between the two, like that. So you've got a sort of a wedge shape like that. And then either side, you're going to add four blocks out, so one, or, or, or two blocks out, so two out like that. But it's going to be sort of a block of eight, so you've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. So it's basically a big block add on the side. Same on the other side, you go add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. So it's a big block on either side. And there's your vent like that. You can add some detail, you can actually remove the middle few blocks like that. And have that as the vent like that. You may want to put some black in there just to make it look like that. So that's that's that job done. There's nothing special about that design but that's how it is on there. Yeah, it's kind of basic in there, but you know, it's, it's a thing. So back down to the centre of that now, back to the front of it. And we're going to add some chains. Um, the anchor chains. So the anchor chains are seven blocks forward. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what we're going to do in grey, we're going to dig into the deck. So you're going to build a base which is seven wide. So dig down one, and then three either side. So that's seven wide, like that. And then the sides are going to be five. So one, two, three, four, five, five like that. Same the other side. One, two, three, four, five. And I think uh, I have to look at the, <laughs> look at the, the, the prototype on this one because I've written this down and I'm not written it down too well. I think it's nineteen or fourteen. Let me double check it. So it's base was 
four, I think it's four forward, four forward, three forward, or it could be one, two, three, four, five. I've held it five forward, and then it's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I've not written this down too well anyway. It's not actually, it's, it's not a problem. So it's basically, it's seven wide, and then one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah, that's it again. So it's not five, it's two rows of three. Okay. thought I wrote this down right, but never mind. So I'll go back to that, and then replace the wood. So we don't want five. Remove the, the last two blocks. So what you want, you want seven wide, and then one, two, three, and then one, two, three, like that. Same the other side, one, two two three and then fill all this in with a grey <laughs> best thing to do is don't write your notes down when you're drunk all right so there we go there's our base and then in from the corner of each side you're going to build a group of four in, in black actually so go from the corner diagonally and go one two three four see on the other side one two three four so it's it's kind of like a skull shape, if you like. <laughs> and then, using railway track, you can build your windlasses. So build your windlasses like that. And those look pretty good. So that's that job like that. And then the chains themselves, what I use for chains are the cobblestone, is it cobblestone stairs or stone brick stairs. It's stone brick stairs, use those. We use those for our chains. They're going to be 11 long, so from the front of the uh, chains, closest to the centre, I'm going to add 11, so 1, 2, these are going to be staggered as well, so you've got one facing one way, one facing the other way, so you've got two already, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, plus a black block at the end like that, so there you go, you've got your chain, it don't look like chains as such, you've got to sort of squint and use your imagination a bit, but that's what I use there. And then do the same with the other windlass as well. So one, actually I'll do a stagger. So one, three, five, seven, all facing the right way. Seven, nine, eleven, face the other way. Two, four, six, eight, ten. There we go. And then the black block at the end, like that. There we go. There's our crate, uh, chains added there. Marvellous. So that's that little job done there. And now we can add some handrails. Where's our prototype over there? So the handrails are going to go from where the deck drops, or the deck, or from deck height. So you've got on the front of the ship, you've got the wall around the, around the tip of the bow, which goes around like that, which is just one block higher than the deck itself. If you go to the end of those sections where the, where the front of the ship decks, drops down to deck level, is where you want to add your handrails. So there's your handrails there. And you just want to build these all the way to the back of the ship, to the back to the front superstructure and if you're familiar with my builds you know that I don't like where the, 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 the handrails attach to the deck and what I normally do is remove the blocks underneath there and replace them with the grey so that the, the handrails sit on top of the grey like so, so I'll do, I'll do the handrails, actually I'll do the blocks first, replace the blocks with the, uh, replace the deck with the proper blocks like that in those sections there and then we can add the handrails. Don't need to worry about the handrails on this bit, but at least on here anyway. So add the handrails. Down there like that, and there you go. There's your handrails there, and I'll do the same on the other side as well. I'll add the blocks first. handrails done that and we're gonna add some bollards which are gonna be anvils which are these things these are anvils and we're gonna place three pairs of those down each side so these are random again so put them roughly by the handrails or a bit further forward of the handrails so put them inside the, the cone at the front and put a pair there like that and they're about halfway down another pair and then just towards the end put another pair just there, so three pairs down the side. Do the same on the other side. 
and then over the other pair just like that, like that. And then the last pair just down by the superstructure. There we go. Marvellous. That's pretty much all done there. There's only one more thing I've got to do. There is a couple of side events. And they go. Just looking at that. If you put the sort of parallel with the uh, the front, the middle vent, so you've got the middle vent there, which is the big thing there in the middle. If you go out to the so you've got this big vent here, if you go out to the side of the ship, right down to the side like so, and then put four blocks on the ground, one, two, three, four, so you can see directly parallel to the side vent, or the middle vent rather, and then put another pair of blocks there like that, so it's sort of like a step shape like that. And then do the same on the other side, so all the way out to the side, other side, parallel with the middle vent, one, two, three, three three four and then one two like that and there we go there's our vents added there and that is the front portion of the superstructure done and you don't look too bad so that's the folks all done so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna do a jump cut while I work out what to do next and then we can move on so it don't look too bad so uh, yep I should return in just a moment Okay, back again. So what we're going to focus on now is the top of the ship's wheelhouse, or top top deck house anyway. We're going to focus on the mast and the sort of anti-aircraft guns, and also the little wall around the front. So if we go down down to the front of the wheelhouse, around the front of the um, uh, the top of the front of the wheelhouse, just go from the side, go from the side here, go one block back from the front, and then go uh, or add a wall just across the front. So one block back from the front, and then go across the front like so all the way up to the other side like that and that's as far as you want to go with that the rest of it um, will all be handrails so that's that's all we needed to add so it just makes the front a bit more bulky like that so looking down at it or up at it so it sort of looks like that <laughs> quite neat now what we're going to do now is go back to the center block of the front wall and on the wood we're going to count back so there's the front block there we're going to count back to the 30th block so 30 blocks back um, so that's 5 10 15 20 25 and 30. So on the 30th block, we're going to build a little deck house which will support the wheelhouse, uh, support the mast. So put a block there and a block either side, so it's three wide. And then the sides are four. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And across the front, uh, across the back like that. And then build that to two blocks high all the way around, like so. And then. Um, I'm trying to remember how to do that. The front front two blocks are four high, and then the next one down is three high. Something like that. Actually, make it make it four four two two three uh, four four three three two like that, and then just cover it up like that. So it just makes it look sort of that shape, if you know what I mean. So long as you got the front wall is three wide, the sides are four, and then you just build it up like that. So you got four high, four high, three high, three high, one uh, two high like that. And there you go, that's your, ma uh, your mast support like that. And then the mast will go on the top. So the mast will go one block back from the front to that point there. And the mast is three rows of 11 up. So that's um, one block, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Behind that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like that. And then go down to the bottom just build the next so next rows like so down to deck level like that and then the same with the next row up and next row back rather build that up to the height of the bottom at the top bottom of the top top of the bottom whatever and then there you go that's the mast looking like that and then down at the bottom the, the bottom section of the mast you build the across sort of section so you build the middle side up to the top of the of the bottom 11 like that same on the other side I'm sort of improving as I go along because that one over there is improved as well and there you go there's your mast sort of looking like that there'll be another one as well going on at the back but that's kind of the same design as well there's our mast like that now if we go to the top and go about three blocks four blocks down from the top and go out one two three and one two three like that there's your mast like that, and then I think there's a, there is a crow's nest that goes on it. So if we go down to the bottom of the middle eleven, and go sort of two, three blocks up, and then we could build from the sides, from the back sides, go out two, 
two, two like that, just sort of improving again, and go two forward, one, two, one, two, and then two again, one, two. Actually, that's kind of wrong. Make it, make it all round like that. Just make it just a big bathtub shape like that, big square. And then underneath, we just trace the inside to make it sort of. As long as you just fill it in, so you got a floor to stand on when you're in there. So it sort of looks like that. So that's that is I think that is pretty much the mast. There isn't much else to go on the mast itself. Either side of the mast there are a couple of vents, so that's the mast done. Either side of the mast down here at the bottom we can build a couple of vents. Now these vents are sort of like uh sort of odd shaped things. So if we build a a base of four, so one, two, three, four like that. And then one, two, three, four, and then one, two. Kinda of actually I think it's more Kind of more like that shape, I think. So it's sort of a block of four plus a block of four like that, sort of mixed together. Kind of like that. So the same the other side. So was it one one back from the front? So out to the side, the other side. One out and then one back. You go one two three four, one two three f three four like that, and then one two three four, one two like that. Kind of an odd shape, kind of like a I don't know, suspended TV. I suppose an old TV with the big back still. Yeah, not much to uh, say about that. It's kind of a rough design. Now, another thing which I had trouble doing when I built this was the anti-aircraft guns, which go on the top. There are six of them that go on the top of this deck house. Um, so I'm going to put th I'll, I'll put one in to sort of give you an idea. Well, actually, I, I'll put, I could just do them all because they're very simple. I haven't written down how they go there, so I'm going to go over to the prototype and have a look. Um, also, the prototype doesn't have them all in place. So. Basically, it's a line of two with a line of three across with two end rods on, and they're kind of the most pathetic things we've ever seen. But there's six of them. There's three down each side, three facing outwards, three facing outwards the other way. And uh, that's that. So I just quickly <laughs> do a very rough design. Like I said, there's six on each, or three on each side, so there's six in total. So we put we put one just in front where the mast is. So we wanted what was it, a row of two like that. And then a row of three across like that, and then <laughs> with our end rods, we just go bonk and bonk. Like I say, it's the most pathetic thing we've ever seen. But um, that's one there. So you need three on each side. I'll put another one, but sort of halfway along. Uh, a row of two plus a row of three on like that, plus one like that. Excuse the noise. That's just my old man sneezing. <laughs> Um, so that's two, uh, that's two there, and then another one towards the back of this deck house. Put a two and then a three across like that, like that. And there you go. There's three, like that. And then you can just do the same on the other side. Three, but exactly the same. Very pathetic looking design of things. I think they're anti-aircraft guns. I imagine they're sort of big boomy things that just go boom boom. Tends to be what guns do. And I just put them exactly the same place on the other side. Just like that, and then the last one here. I suppose this is sort of part way to me building a warship. You know, I don't normally do navy warships, but this ain't far off being one with the guns on it. But there we go. There's <laughs> there's those guns there like that. And then the last job for this deck house is to add the handrails. So you go from the back of the front of the wheelhouse and just add the handrails like so. Try and correct the damage that I'm doing, and where I put handrails up to the stairs, I tend to put a block. Oh shit! Put a block at the end there like that, so the stair, the handrails attached to something. And the same on the other side there like that, and then just carry on the handrails down like so. Just my little design, what I tend to do. Carry on all the way round to the other side. This is what takes time though with these handrails; they're so bloody dull to do. What I'll do, I think I'll do the other side with while I did it. So if I just uh, go from there up to the blocks at the end, like so, and just do, I'll do replace zero with 101. Doing it, and then the same up to the other side. And there we go, there's our handrails done up there. 
and that's the details done on that section there. There is one more bit to go on just behind the the, the deck house, which is a uh, I think it's sort of a gun platform or a turret or something. You can just see it over there where the ha where the crosshairs are. And I think it's is it central or off central? Uh, I think it's central actually. So what we'll do is go down behind the um, deck house, go to the centre block, and what we'll do, go about one, two, three, four blocks back, put a turret base of two, make that two blocks high, or is it three? Make it three actually, make it three, and then around the top we'll put a fourth row and then build it round, sort of like so. This is just me improving again because I don't really know what I'm doing. So make it sort of a mushroom shape. So you've got two blocks back, two blocks back, two blocks back, and then a platform around the top. And then you put a wall around like so. And you may want to put sort of a gap in the side or in the front or in the back just so you can have access to it. So I'm going to take off the end like that. And put a ladder. Because like I said, I'm improving here a bit because I don't know what I'm doing. Up to that bit there. I say I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing in terms of this sort of thing. I don't normally do ships which are mili militaryized, if you know what I mean. But that's that job done there, and that is how that area should look. There's a bit more detail to go around the funnels, I think, but I'll leave that for a minute because I'm going to do another jump cut. So that's that section done. So I'll do a jump cut now, and I shall return in just a moment with the next part. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Uh, now we're at the funnel area, and we're just going to add some boxes around the funnel. So, go down to the funnel base, or the front of the funnel, and what we're going to do is just to the side of the front, we're just going to add a box, which is that, or basically four, four stacked up like that, and do the same on the other side. So it's just to the uh, just to the front of the funnel. Do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that two boxes there, and then to the back of the funnel, we're going to add some single line boxes, which are single lines basically, so like like this. If I know what I mean. So behind the funnel, do the same sort of thing, but this time just do it like that. So it's stacked like that, and then a bit further back, towards the centre, two again like that. These are just sort of don't know what they are, but they're on, they're on models and uh, things like that. So make it symmetrical both sides round. Keep adding more blocks, and there you go. There's those things added there. Marvelous. And what you can do now is add the uh, handrails to the deck around the funnel. So we start by the funnel. This, this, these handrails are going to go right up to the front of the superstructures, but basically right up to the bridge wings. So if we start actually at the bridge wings, that might be a better idea. So we'll put these in first. Go to the bridge wings, and add our handrails. Now these things are a pain in the ass. So a bit of world editing. Actually, do it, I'll, I'll try and do it freehand. This is these things tend to tend to get my, my tempo going because they're a pain in the ass to add. But I shall pers pers persevere, if that's the right word. Also a pain to delete as well, but I'll try this. To keep it going, and we'll put a block at the top of the stairs like that, like that, and that, and then carry on with the handrails up to the funnel. And then up to the stairs and stairs there. Handrails between, and then block on the stairs there and there, and then the handrails at the other side. Marvellous. I can say these things are a pain to add, but I think I don't, know, I don't know actually. I wish they were better looking these things because they're, they're kind of very plain looking in Minecraft but they're not designed to be handrails, they're just iron bar basically. And that's the way it is. On one of the ships, I think it was the Republic over there, I used wood fence for the handrails. And it didn't look too bad. Handrails up to the bridge wings there, there we go. Job done. So that's that deck house done there like that. Marvellous. So what we're gonna do now is go down behind the ship's wheel uh, but not the wheelhouse, but behind the funnel deck house. So the deck house there with the funnel. And we're gonna add the mast. The mast is sixty six blocks back from the back of the deck house. So here's the back here. And we count back on the wood. So from the centre block on the wood, that's the first block. 
and want to go back to the 66 block 66 blocks back so that's 30 40 50 60 63 64 65 66 there we are 66 back and from there we put a gray block and then build across like so so there's the base of our mast like that and then the mast is similar to the one on the front but without the boss the, the, the base at the bottom so it's basically just across and you want to build them 11 high so that's one high ready so two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven behind that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then build all the other sections up as well the back of the cross go up to the back of the back of the mast like so and then you can build the sides up as well there's our mask done details at the top about four down from the top go out three one two three and one two three there we go mast done marvelous now the area between the mast and the deck house as well there are lifeboats that go in this area but I'll add them later on there's only four of them um, so I'll add those in in a minute but we're just going to go down to the back end of the next deck. There is handrails as well that go on this deck as well but we're going to add them last because the, the, the lifeboat gantries will be sit on them, top of them as well so we put the life the handrails in but after the lifeboats so we'll go down to the next deck uh, so dust on that deck, go down to the, the boat deck and then down to the next deck which is the one in the middle basically so you've got a lower deck, middle deck and then the top deck so this is the middle deck here we're going to go to and we're going to add a cargo hatch first so go from the back wall of the uh, of the deck basically and we're going to go to the seventh block gap a uh, seventh block back so one two three four five six seven middle block and it's going to be seven wide so one two three that way um one two three that way and then back four one two three four one two three four and then cover that up with gray most basic cargo hatch known to man and there we go it don't look too bad. <laughs> I'm tired. Alright, so that's that. Um, and then there's cranes that will go on as well. I just want to work out where these ones go. I'm trying not to rush this either. So the cargo cranes will go to the bottom of the stairs, which are here. And we're going to go to, from the bottom block, we're going to go out. Uh, just trying to work it out. Oh, where is it? I'm just trying to work it out. Where's the cranes? Cranes. Oh, five out. <laughs> there we go. So one, two, three, four, five out, and then back one like so. And then we're gonna go up, up six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then back eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now these are the same cranes you had on the front, which are the most basic and ugly-looking things known to man. So just build the base as well. So exactly the same design. Do the same the other side. So out five. One, two, three, four, five. Back one. One, two, three, four, five, six up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight back. Plus a support and the base. And there we are. Ugly thing, isn't it? Um, and the last last part of this uh, section is to add some boxes. These things, I don't know what they are, but they're just boxes that go on the back of the deck. So going from the centre at the back here of this same deck with the cranes on. Go centre bomb, go out about three, so centre, one, two, three. And we'll put a box like that. Like so. And then another couple of blocks gap again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I don't know how many there are. Did that five or six? So there's one, two, three. There's four either side of the centre line, so there's two already. So there's gonna be eight either eight on the deck, so there's two already. And then another couple of blocks gap go one, two, three, four. Like that and then just a bit forward do the same again so one two three four one two three four now these are placed at random okay so but they are sort of roughly evenly spaced as long as you've got a gap between the deck and the edge of the deck or a gap between the the box and the edge of the deck so it should look something like that so that's four there and you want another four the other side so center line again as long as you build them symmetrical they should look fine i, I think there's something other storage or there might be gun uh, things that you can hide in, <laughs> you know what I mean. 
Um, uh, the couple of block gap again. Like that. And then again, another couple of blocks back. Something like that. And then again, a bit further back. As I said, there I just placed it random. So there you go. You got your eight blocks, boxes, things there like that. And it, it don't look too bad. Not brilliant, not perfect, but it'll do. And then down onto the next deck, which is the bottom deck on the stern. You're going to want to add another four boxes. So these ones are just go at random as well. So put four or two either side. One there. And then a little bit one further forward. Like that. And then the same the other side. Like I, said, I don't know exactly where I'm placing them. I'm just placing them at random. But as long as they're the same on both sides. Just make it look symmetrical. And there you go, there's the four things there. And then I think just looking at the prototype, we just want a pair of ha uh, 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 anvils. So we're going to anvils again, which are the, the anvil things for the bollards. We'll put a couple just there like so. Like that. And then around the stern, you can add your handrails. So like on the like on the bow as well the handrails are going to sit on top of the grey so you put the handrails in place you'll see that you're going to want to have to replace the wood blocks with the grey so I'll do that first replace the grey, I'll place the wood with the grey first like that and then do that in all sections around the back here in the corner there like so and there we are so now you can add your handrails like I said this is just something that I do you don't have to do it yourself you can make it look as pretty as you want <laughs> oh god I'm tired oh I've done this now I wish I'd recorded this another day but there we go there's our handrails done there and the ship don't look too bad actually I've actually missed out a block I missed out some one there. There we go. So that's that done. And then do the same on the deck above as well with the cranes on. So do the handrails around that. Like I said, the deck above with the boat deck, we're going to do that one last because the um, the handrails will uh, be in, in sort of in the way of the boat, the lifeboat gantry. So we'll do them after we've done the lifeboats. I've also got the lifeboat, uh, not lifeboat, it's the, the propellers and the rudder to do, so I might do them after I finish these handrails. So there we go, there's the handrails done there like that. And that's the back end of the ship pretty much done. And the only thing left under there is the handrails. I keep saying bloody handrails, it's the propellers and the rudder. So I shall do them in a minute. Just make sure everything looks fine. Uh, yep, everything looks okay. So what I'll do, I'll do another jump cut while I work out what I'm doing next. Work out where the propellers go and then we shall do the propellers. So, um... Uh, yeah, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is work on the rudder and propellers. So we're going to do the rudder first. Um, we're also going to need night vision for this thing because you can't see shit under it. So we get our night vision first and go slippy slippy and illuminate everything. And then for the uh, for the rudder, we're going to need a stone cobblestone wall. And then for the propellers, we're going to want quartz stairs. And quartz blocks, so quartz stairs and block of quartz there. So we'll do the rudder first. The rudder, we're going to go down to the bottom of the keel at the back here and move the sign. And we're going to need five hinges. So one space, two space, three space, four space, five. Five like that. And then from the bottom of the rudder, bottom hinge, we're going to go back eight, no, back six, sorry. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 
and then up eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then forward to connect to the other hinge, like so. And then just fill this whole thing in with red, because that's literally all it is nothing but red. And there we go, there's our rudder done like that. Marvellous. Right, so now we're going to go down to the end of the keel again for the propellers. Um, the propellers are going to be from the keel, we're going to go up uh, up six, so go up, count the count the first block of red as one, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six up, and then forward three, one, two, three to this point here, and then using, oh no, glass or whatever, build out to the sixth block, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and put a white block on the seventh, so that's where the centre of our propeller will go, so it's up six, forward three, out to the seventh block is where your centre of your prop is going to be. So remove the glass, we don't need that. And the propeller, the centre of the propeller is going to be shaped like this. So the, well, the propeller's shape, centre is like that, but the blades are going to be uh, up two, up two, out two, out two, down two, down two, into, into, like that. So you've got a sort of weird star shape like that. And then with the propeller, uh, with the court stairs, just sort of highlight the profile of the propeller. So once you've got the, the two and your two, you just put stairs, 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 and stairs, four blocks of stairs to create the propeller blade. So do the same on all the other sections. And you should have a fantastically beautiful shaped propeller, in theory. So there we go, there's that one there, and then the last one down there like that. And there you go, there's your propeller shape like that. And then the central propeller, add the cone, like that, and there you go. Marvellous. Now forward of the propeller, from the centre point, you're just going to add the shaft, which is just a long line of blocks. Like that. And then one block back from the propeller, go up, from the side, go up two, and two like that, and then in, one, two. And then just blend this whole propeller shaft forward until it mixes in with the rest of the hull. Like so. Oh, damn it, missed the block. There we go. So there's our propeller and propeller shaft like that. And don't look too bad. Bit odd, but there we go. So let's do the same the other side now. I normally do a jump cut for this or a, or a copy paste, but I think I'll build it when I'm here. So from the bottom of the keel, go up one, two, three, four, five, six, forward three, one, two, three, and then out one, two, three, four, five, six, and the seventh block. That's where our propeller goes. So same design again. Up two, up two. Out two, out two. Down two. Down two. Into, into. And then using the stairs to make the propeller blade profile thing. stairs are a bit finicky when you put them in. Yeah, there, there, there. there we go, there's our propeller done and then just add the cone and then the prop shaft on the back so go all the way forward and then we just go up two up, two up, blend in Uh, you've seen handrails for some reason, but there we go. There's our props done. And the rudder done as well. So there's the back end of the ship done. And uh, now we can move on to something else. So I should do a jump cut now while we move on to the next thing, which will probably be the lifeboats. And then uh, I'll call it a day. So that's uh, that. So I should, be, uh, I should do a jump cut now and I should be back in a moment. Okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is focus on the ship's lifeboats. And there's going to be... Uh, 12 I think on each side I'm trying to work out if I've got that right yeah 12 lifeboats on each side and also 4 medium or 4 extra boats rather 
on the deck behind the f uh, behind the funnel. So we're going to focus on the main bulk of the deck of the lifeboats first. So what we're going to do? Go down to the boat deck, which is two decks below the bridge wings. So you've got the bridge wings here, got the middle deck, and then you've got this deck here with the bridge wing uh, below the two bridge wings. Um, and what we're going to do, add the davit, and it's going to be four blocks back from the pillar here. So you've got the pillar there, go one, two, three, four back, and then we build up uh, up two, 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 like that, three rows of two. And then we go forward three, one, two, three, like that. At this point it goes forward three, but as you get further back, because the ship gets a block wider, it'll be four forward. So that's what that's about. So you've got three, like that. And then on the deck itself, which is this point here, Going to build up four, one, two, three, four, and then two, one, two, and then out to seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and down one like that. So there, there's your first gantry. So that should look something like that. So your boat will sit just there on top of that gantry post there. So that will either there, I think on that point there actually, that's where your keel of your lifeboat will go. So that's your first gantry there, and then you're going to leave a ten block gap. So go to the eleventh block back. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and do the same again. So up two, 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 so two, 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 inwards three, one, two, th two, three, and then on the deck go up four, one, two, three, four, and two, one, two, out seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and down one, like that. There you go. So there's your first pair like that. And like I say, you're going to want 12 pairs of these. So I put a block there to mark it as one pair like that um, and then you're going to leave a gap I don't know how big the gap is actually because the lifeboat gap between each gantry is a bit different so I just fly over to the prototype because I did not write this down there's a gap between each set and I think it's five blocks but let me go find out so here's the first gantry sets here so it's one two three four five yeah it's five block gap between each set so you build the first set leave five block gap build the next set so you just do that with all twelve sets so you've got 12 sets separated by 5. Sorry, so I'll do the next couple of pairs and then we'll go about building the boat. Like I say, you need 12 pairs of these all the way down, so that's that. So we'll do 5 got five gaps, so 6 blocks back, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and do the same again. 3 rows of, th three rows of 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 in because the ship is slightly wider here. And then the up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, up 2, 1, 2, and out. You want out eight this time, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and or make it seven again actually, and down one like that. So it's it's about right. So there we go. There's that bit there, and then once again, ten block gap. So eleven blocks back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the same again. Actually, yeah. Hang on, is it ten gap or ten? Eleven blocks back. I'm saying I'll do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then the three rows of two. One two, one two, one two, and then one two three four, up four, one one two three four and two, one two, and then one two three four five six seven out. Push the one like that, there we go. There we are, so that's two pairs like that, so I'll put a white block in between that to make it as a next pair. And I do the third pair and then we can move on to be on the lifeboat, so so it's another five blocks, so one, two, three, four, five, six blocks back, go up one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four in, one, two, three, four up, one, two up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out, down one there. And then eleven blocks back again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then two, 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 one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One two one two three four five six seven and down one. There we go. That's pair number three down top under the block there to mark three pairs. There we go. So there's three pairs already. Like I say, you need twelve pairs going down the length of the ship. And I try to do this in you know as quiet a time as I can. But next door dog just started barking. My dog's just started barking. Next door block one's having their windows changed, so they're making a lot of noise. And I'm trying to do this. I don't mind. I should just moan. Anyway, there's three pairs done. So like I say, carry on doing all 12 pairs down the side and do the same on the other side and then we'll come back and do the lifeboat. But what I'll do, I'll do a, I'll do all those in the jump cut afterwards, but I'll get, I'll get the first lifeboat in actually. So if I go back down to the first gantry and the lifeboat itself will sit, I think, directly on top of this row of two here. So you've got the two, two, two there on the top of the middle two, or on top of the top two, we'll put our lifeboat and the lifeboats themselves. 
Now 16 long, so you want the kill to be 14, so it's going to be one on top there and then one forward like that. And it's going to be, that's two, and it's going to be 14, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, like that. So the, the keel overhangs each side by one block. I really should build these in another, in another color, but because it's all grey, it's very difficult to see. But, but you got one block over the end, one block over the end, so there's your keel done. And at the end you go two and then one up. And then two and one up like that. And then in the middle, it's roughly just go out two, two, and the other side you go out one and two like that. And there's your diameter of your boat. And if you can follow this design, you're doing well. Because these are just my usual crap trap crap trap boats really. Nothing really special about these. But if you can make a better design, you can go for it. I'm just doing these sort of random, really, because they're not, like I said, they're not anything special. I don't normally give measurements of my life, but it's good, like I said, they're so basic. But, um,. There's the first boat, and then what I'd done on the prototype, I just filled the whole top in with white, with uh, quartz, so... Put a grey block in the end like that, just sort of cover it up. And there we go, there's our first boat done. So like I say, it sits on top of the, top of the gantry. One block, one block of the keel hanging over each end. <laughs> so the, the keel is 14. So I just did the, just start the next boat. So on the top of the two, just there, we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then 13 that end, and then 14 that end, and then you go two forward, one up. Same the other end, two forward, one up. And then in the middle, roughly just go two out, two out, one and two out like that, and then just build the base of the or build the body of the boat in the very cheap basic design that I use. Okay, so I just do the same on the other end. fill in the end. If for, for people who are familiar with my builds, you know, you, you're open to do your own thing with these, your, your own lifeboats or whatever. Because they are the most basic things going, but you know how it is, but there we go. There's two boats done. Three gantries, two boats. So that's how it should look so far. So like I say, you want to carry that on 12 times down each side. So 12, you've done three, so you want another nine down this side. And then 12 down the other side, and that would be that little job done, so um, I should do a jump cut while I sort those out, and then we can do the boats on the on the stern as well. So um, I should return in just a moment. Okay, back again. So there's the lifeboats all in place, and the ship should look something like that. So you've got the twelve boats down each side, looking like that. So I just get under the back end and see all twelve down each side. And what I've also done as well, I've also done the four lifeboats that go on the deck there as well. I will point out where they go in a second, or try to anyway. They sort of placed at random, but anyway. There's the 12 boats down one side. And the, and the 12th boat, again, like the like the first boat, is on a narrow section of the of the ship. So um, a little bit of uh, jiggery-pokery, but it's the same sort of thing as you've done on the front. Just one block in from the end. Um, but that is that. So that's all 12 boats there. And like I said, I've also done the other side as well. So we've got t 24 boats there, maybe 28 in total with those four there. So those four on the deck there, they're just sort of, they're, they're evenly spaced, they're not exactly placed in any specific position, but if you want a rough idea, if you just go from the mast and go about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 forward, and then out to the side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 out, and build your boats from there. That's literally just those four just four standard boats standing on their own there's no detail around them or anything it's just four bog standard boats just sat there on the deck and yeah, like i say bog standard are the same ones you get on the side here no gantries or anything they just sat there 
um, place like that. So they're the same design, they're the same 14, is it 14? No, 16 blocks long, aren't they? Yeah, it's the same design. They just plonk on the top there like that. So that is pretty much everything you need to work and do. And um, that's that. The last job for today is just to hand, add, add the handrail. So if we go back down to the bridge wings and start from there. So we're going to handrails, get those. And go in underneath the bridge wings to the middle bridge wing or the second bridge wing down we we'll start with our handrails there so these handrails go from the bridge wing there and you're just going to add these between the lifeboat gantries all along the side Oop, and I'm stuck there we so just add them all the way along this is why we put the the, the life the, the the handrails on last in this area because they go between the gantries so that's just a little thing I do this so just add these handrails all the way along and I usually have a bit of a rant about now, but I uh, can't be bothered. I'm just sort of thinking what the next tutorial could be because I've got loads of ships that I've previewed and got a big backlog of ships, so I may I just have a, a think of which ones I could do. I may do the next, that one there, the Republic, that's quite a popular one. Um, so the Republic may be the next one, and maybe the Britannia. Um, I'll, I'll put a poll up to see what people want. I'm trying to put the big ships to, to the back, so Rex, Brianna Marie, Brianna Marie rather, um, and the New Amsterdam. I'll keep them ones to sort of last, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Excuse me, hiccups now. Keep those ones to last, because they are a big old, big old units there. So there's the lifeboats all covered up, so now I just go and add the handrail all the way around the back of this deck. Up to the stairs there. So I'll put a grey block there and then there and put the handrails between and then the same the other side put a block there and a block there and then carry on the handrails again down the other side and I will weld it at the handrails on this side just to save a bit of time so we'll go from there all the way down to the bridge wing at the other end and like I said I'll probably put a pole up for to deciding what the next ship could be because Republic seems a fairly popular one. Um, but we'll see what the poll suggests. I haven't done a poll for a little while actually, but anyway. There's a handrail done on that deck there. And then just go down to the next deck below to the boat deck and do the same thing there. So behind the bridge wings, between the gantries, add your handrails all the way along. And what we've got down here is a wood, there's a piece of wood which needs replacing with grey, which I've just done there. And then we'll add handrails all the way along and once again I just use world edit for this bit otherwise we'd be here all day I just add the handrails all along all along the side between the gantries all the way down the side and everything should work out quite well so that's one bit done down onto the next bit and I replace the grey block there and then all the way down again and then another grey block, grey block needed there and then down the side again up to the back end of the grey block needed there and then all the way around the back and I'll put a grey block at the top of the stairs there and there and then handrails again and then grey blocks again there and there and then handrails all down the side again and then grey block needed there and all the way down the side again ones in. So I'll just add the one side in with uh, we'll, we'll, we'll world edit up to the end of this point and then we can call it a day then. Up to that I believe. And there we go. And then a grey block needed just there. Just there like that and then handrails again. And then handrails up to bridge wing there and there we go there's our handrails done and that is the willy g done <laughs> and i think we've done all right with that one this is not a bad looking vessel i'm quite happy the way it turned out and i uh, hope it was easy enough to follow for you lot i know there's a few bits i did skimp on but you can uh, improv i think 
if you can't do it, if you just look at the, just look at the, the video and sort of see if it's the same. Um, but there we go, that is the Willy G all done, Wilhelm Gusloff. And now it's over to you to do what you want with it. You can interior, add interior to it, you can paint it in its proper cruise ship colours. Um, but yeah, it's up to you how you want to proceed with this one. The usual thing though is if you're going to be building this as part of a, a video on YouTube, a downloadable project or anything like that, then just give you a mention for the for where you got the design from. That's all I add, just a bit of credit for the uh, source material. And then, yeah, you can do what you like with it. Um, so that's that thing done there. Like I said, the next tutorial, I may, I'll, I'll put a poll up, but I may include the uh, the Republic over there, because that's got a good one. Um, but Britannia as well. I'll, I'll pick another three out to see what, I'll see what uh, ones I can add to the list. Or to the poll. And... Uh, We'll see about that, but uh, that is the Wilhelm Gustav all done, and we shall leave it at that. So this is Rich signing off, logging off, and disappearing. Thanks for watching and things. Uh, subscribe, comment, hit that like button, hit the bell, all those other things that other YouTubers say. And we'll leave it at that. So this is Rich disappearing, and I shall return with another video soon. So uh, bye for now.